Good day devs, welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe and leave some likes and some comments as this will help my channel grow. Today I'll be doing the latest challenge from the month of October 2022. This is called the homepage, homepage, homepage challenge. It's a junior challenge, so please go ahead and download download the challenge. It's for free and let's go together. But I've already done this challenge, I've already downloaded this startup pack in the, in the year it is. So I'll start off by putting some below. They, I've added a link on line 17 to our style CSS. So remember to create a style CSS file. We call it main. Don't also forget to add another one called JSS for JavaScript. I'll call it main dot chase and there it is so now secondly i'm going to add up some links to our to our and these are links to our, to our style file so now we're going inside the body and now it's time to code first of all i'm going to create the header Then below the header, I'm going to create two divs. The first one, I'll call it div content. Then the next one, I'll call it nav expand. So since we'll be doing mobile responsive, so I need two classes. Let's add some more class names, mob collapse. Okay, for now I can leave it, I can leave it like this without without any size spacing. But so now let's go on to our top top div which of which I'm going to need here an image. Which shall be our logo so inside the assets folder slash images folder slash okay i needed the logo one day it is so out it takes that to replace if the image fails to load it's called logo then i need an unordered list let me call it class name since this is for the desktop view i'll call it desk So we need to put the listings for what will appear in our menu. Let me put it a multiple of five times, two, three, four, five. So now let's drag the content. Just copying the text. Now we are done with that. Remember, I might need. Uh, I will need to copy this one for mobile view. This unordered list. So let's save it in a copy, and then we just place it inside this one for mobile view. So like this, let's, then let's remove the class name for now. Now we're done with that. Now it's important that we have got. We we, we choose which we choose the close and the. Like you can see from the challenge. The hamburger menu as well as the close sign. So that's what that, those are the images that we need to add up. So to add those images, 
I'm just going to create a div class dot I'll call it menu it will be nice let's let's give it a second class name call it mob so to make our code look smarter just remove some unnecessary spacing like this like what i'm doing could not look smart so we're going to put in some images the close image as well as the menu close to that images that i want this one is for the image on line 39 this is the image that will appear on on desk on the for, for the menu then i also need one for the close sign so to do the This one is the close sign that will appear like this. So let's have a look at how the designer looks like inside the browser. So you can see we have got the logo as well as the close sign. Those are the two images. So let's continue. So before I go, I need to put a closing div for overlay hide for the hiding div dot this will help us when we are creating javascript code let's say we have a class name i'll call it hide like that so we are done with that then let's take a look at the challenge Now we're going for the content for the below the D, below the header. I'm not going for the content. This will wrap up every all the content that we see here. So let's go on and create. We we'll start we we'll start adding a main. We wrap up everything inside the main. Then we say div dot content class name. Then I'll need another div which I shall call top content. So I'll, I'll separate the top content to the right content as well as the, the left content. So let me come in and say div dot top left. I'll need so I'll need to have another content to the for the top right. So let's just replace this text with the top right. And I can see no signs for the, add the content to the top right. So I'm going to add this image that you see there onto the right side. But the, the, the images will differ for mobile view as well as for desktop view. So as you can see, the overview image is a bit smaller. This one that you see there above the toe the text at the right bottom this one that you see so let me add the image so to the images. first one that we have added is for the desktop view let's create some space yeah then now i'll need an image for the right for the mobile view i've created an image with class name mob which you which, which should be for mobile view with the text out that will appear web 3 in case the image fails to load so let's have a look at the mob let's at the design there you can see there are two images nextly now below now i'm going to create the text that will appear so we need to create a div class this i shall call text 
means inside the div class I will have div dot heading let's have h1 tags This is the text that will appear here there. Then let's put on another div class text for the text. So let's call it div class dot read. So let's have some paragraph text inside. Let's have a look at how, how the text is. We can see that we have this text. So now is the time to, to go into the div top right and let's remove some unnecessary spacing so that the code looks perfect. Now let's go into the div top right. We need the H2 text. And then we need the text A. Let's take a look at how everything looks like from the challenge. Okay. Okay, there's a button which is called read read more. So I need to add this text for the button. I've added the button read more. Let's have a look at the mobile view of our design. You can see the button has been added. Now is the time to let's have a look. Now we're going to the top right, top right text. So inside our file, let's put on top right. We have put okay, the header, then below the header, I'm going to have a div which I, which I shall call text. Just to make the course look smarter, just putting removing some spacing. Then with the div text, I'm going to set up the H3 tags, H3 tags, as well as the paragraph tags. Then by looking at the design, we need to multiply it by three times. So let me just copy it three times. Then Let's, it's time to, to to drag the text to where it is appropriately the first one just Now we are done with the dragging of the text. Let me have a look at how it looks like from the design. Oh yes, there you can see the text that we have. Now is the time to look at the design. We need to, have to go to the bottom content that we have there at the bottom. Let's do the coding for the bottom content. Just remove in some unnecessary spacing. Right there below the 
so this is where we are going to create our div let's call it div dot bottom bottom content so for the bottom content let me put in some div put in some some nice styling since they are all similar in html structure i need let's to give topic inside the div topic i'm going to have an image image then we are going to have div dot text then we need a span h4 text for the heading then we are going to have a paragraph so we are going to have it as a set of modules of three so let me just copy it the ending div is here so let me just copy it like this just copy it like this so the first one i'm going to have it is inside the assets folder images image retro this one the checks that will appear if the image first load is pc then let's drag the content Just copy it. We are just dragging the content, testing it where it should go. Also, drag this content. the content our best just drag it then let's drag the last content for the div topic okay i need to put the images first access folder images image laptop this one image top laptop so let me just put in the text that will appear if the image fails to load it's called laptops yeah like this one small data top then let's say for the third images i need to go inside the access folder images img gaming growth let's save the text that will appear in case the image fails to load gaming then let's just click the, the final text just place it there then this one just place it there okay let's remove some unnecessary spacing now it's time to go on to the CSS styling file that we have. Remember, we have set up the link inside our HTX on line 17. So I'll start off by styling the everything. Boxing sizing and painting the margin to zero. Let's take a look at how everything now looks like. There we have set it then next after that we're going to style the html 
then I will just want the scroll behavior to be smooth then after that we go onto the body let's start inside the body family to insert if the margin box to zero with 100 percent of a flow along the x-axis to end and the padding let's set it to zero let's have a look at how the design now looks like there you can see the changes are responding perfectly the center of the page by setting the display to flex align item center just by the content normal this will put a minimum height of 100 percent as well as the text direction 100 let's have a look at how projects now looks like okay we need to continue styling everything now after that let me set the the list style along we set the list style to none then let's tell this class name called mob let's set it to display none for mobile view Let's have another another class name. This one we'll set it to importantly by default. I need to set some default styling. Let's set it to display none as this is important. There you can see the changes that we have applied. Then I will now want to style the header. As well as flex the direction column and align center. This will try to attempt to resolve. There you can see. I've set the width to 100% display flexi. Let me continue styling. Nextly, I will style the the header dot content. This is the one that is wrapping up the content in the header. Just copy it. Let's go inside our style file CSS percent then display it flexi align item center then flexi direction we set it to row so that it moves from the from the left side to the right side then we justify the content to space between with the margin of cap that or with the margin of top and bottom three rams as well as bottom and and right and left to nothing at zero auto there you can see the changes that we've applied on our top here as they after that, we are going to style the header dot content and ordered list. Forty percent display flex and flex the direction row align items center. As well as just five space to change. Let's this will change it to look like for the desktop view. There you can see the changes are applied for desktop view. Now let's go on styling. 
now i want to style the listings so i just say copy now there we have changed everything using using the color is the case. so this you see the case the transition as well as the color you have changed now i want to style on hover copy this on hover i want the color to change to using the color code yeah this is the soft red color that we have we have been provided by frontend mentor lets me have a look at there you can see on over color changes Now I want to style the after the after effects. Turn to absolute as well as the border of two pixels solid and the border radius of two rams with zero display flex flex direction column. But then align item center just by content center margin. You push it using the zero comma two and then the pixel of zero comma two. Let's have a look at you can see everything has changed there. Now let me have a over after now I want this and copy it and place it there. I want to have a over effect. after we set the width to 100% then now I'm going to start the main percent then display flex flex direction column align item center let's have a look at the changes that we have applied yes they install the main target content then I'll, I'll reduce the width to 80 percent that's that's the major change compared to the one on nine line 91 of 100 percent in this place we will remain in flex flex direction column and then align items to the center let's have a look at there you can see we have reduced now let's continue styling inside our file style file css i'm going now going to target the main top one content i need to start this top content you can just come and paste it there then display grid let's have a look at there you can see it has changed but now I'm going to continue styling everything I've set now the grid template to two RAM to repeat three col three with three columns with the with with a width with a size of one FRI is there the grid template rose to hundred percent. Let me have a look at how everything looks like. You can see the changes that are happening. Two rams, justify content sender, align item start, and then overflow hidden. So this will change there you can see perfectly. 
perfectly what we want perfectly the image is now taking direction now i want to start with this inner div let's copy it and place it there and we're targeting the top left so i need to collect the class name this one this is our class name it i will set the grid column to one over span two then display flex flex the direction column and then align item to the center then let's have a look at there you can see we have pushed the, this text right to the top side to the top so what we need is to continue styling okay I'm going to out the image top left img let me give a width of 100% oh there you see everything has now changed Let me copy this text again and let's continue doing some styling now now i'm going to target the the inner d which is called text let's set the width to 100 percent Let's have a look at how they design. Oh, there it is. You can see that is taking it's taking shape. You set the width a of this text. There are bright feature under the bright feature to to hundred percent. Now we are going to target the heading. So to do that, I need to copy this one and let's set this class name to heading, let's have it with, we'll give it 50%. There you see. The the width has been reduced. H1 X font weight to 800. Then I'll set the font size to 3,5. Then I'll set the color using the style guide. Wow. Which color do I want there? Okay, let's use the RGB color. RGB color codes. Let's set to zero. Then green. Let's remove everything to set it to zero. Then blue. We set it to two. <coughs> 26. Line night one EM Oh yes, you can see that is changing. Now let's go on to the bot to the next deep car which is called read. Before I do that, let me give this this code order of collection then we go for the 
next div which you are going to be styling this one called read you can see the width has been reduced Let's save the big text paragraph text. We are now targeting the paragraph text 15 pixel and put a light color of gray, light gray, then light height. I've increased 1,5 here. Margin to the bottom, I've put it to 5 to 1, to 2 ranks. Then width is now not equal, is now less than 100 percent at 99 percent. Let's have a look at there. You can see the changes have been applied. Nextly, I'm going to target the button. And background color, pink, then the color of the text to set it to white. Font family, we're using the inter. Then we've got a font weight of 700. Then we've got a font weight of 700. Let us pressing 2 EM, padding, top and bottom, 1 rem. Then left and right, 2 rems. Then case up point, a transition to... 2, 2 seconds there you can see uh, the pattern has changed after that we are going to change the pattern on over color let's collect it from the style guide this is the color that we want from the style guide let me just copy it now we're going to style the main dot content dot top content dot top right this is the one that we want just copy it and place it there one one over span three one grid row of one over span one background color to a very dark blue then the color of the text is white there you can see this one, this one that is outed. Copy it, place it there, then just say the H2 takes. The color to pink, orange, imagine 2 rams, one size 2 am. Let me have a look. There you can see it has changed. That's wonderful. Again, we're now targeting the text. Text color. Let's have in two rings. Then display flex, flex action column, align items, flex start. Oh yes, there you see. We have done that. We have pushed it to flex start as well as direction, flexi column. There we have it. Now we are going to style. one and I'll set it to not okay let's take the empty type end of type it's a package the third one
hold the bottom I want it to be one pixel solid let me get it the color code for the border bottom this is going to be dark grayish blue Now we're done with that. Let me install the S3 tags. S3. one margin bottom one ram then transition bottom then we've got a case of pointer in the phone rate of 800 let's have a look at how low wow, wonderful you can see the changes yes wonderful 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 then now let's have a over effects Then I'm going to have a color. Let me look using the style guide provided. I'm going to have a color of soft red. So I need this color code. Now we're going to target the paragraphs text next. Now let's have white, then line height one pm and what much and bottom two rams. Let me have a look at how it now looks like. There you can see. Copy. Let's take it again. The inner text we want to take. This is a new idea that is creating quality padding. Bottom. I'll set it to zero rams. Now I take the main dot content dot. We are going now for the bottom content this is the one that we have just copy it and place it there and display grid then grid template columns three columns three template rows i want just one one row then gap two rams in between the in between then just by content center line item start overflow hidden margin to the top and bottom two rams then left and right to zero Yes, there you can see the changes that we have applied there for the margin bottom so that we target the inner side. Let's have the div class topic. flex flex the direction row align item sender and just write content sender there it is oh wonderful we have added this one there you can see the text that we have added we have styled it correctly the text return 0 1 so i'm now going to put a bit of more styling so that it appears well we are going to target the the images so we target those images inside um, let me copy this one okay. okay like this then you say image 
I'm going to set the width to 30%. Oh, there it is. You see, oh, now, oh, now the text is now visible. It's now a thing. So let me have some more. copy this one and place it there text Next one ring display flex flex the direction column space just write the space just write the content to space between any align flex star this will push our inner text that you can see there it is far away from the images there you can see that there's now a gap between the image and the text now we are going nextly but we still need to target the span which is which you see the top span with the, the numbers then the heading with the game then with the, the, the text below the paragraph below so to do that i'm going to be changing the colors as well as the font 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 weights and font size so let me get inside our file and let's target the span first and then say span eight to seven hundred then margin bottom to one ram let me have a look at there you can see the span has changed everything Let's target the H14 into very dark blue, 48-800, margin bottom, 1 RAM, font size, case pointer. There you can see the, the, the heading text, they've changed the color there. Now, nextly, I'm going to target the paragraph text. So, let's use again the same link there. Just come and paste it there. Then you just add the paragraph text like this let's see there we have set the color you can see the color will change to light gray the font the, the line height has been also increased as well as the color the font size so but now i'm going to put the over effect on the heading over effect on the h4 text just below there let's add over I want the color to, to follow the style guide is provided we are going to set it to soft red just save and let's have a look at there you can see the color on over changes now nextly we are going to style we are now we have done the mobile view so we are now going to set up the we've done the desktop view so we're now going for the mobile view so for the mobile view i'm just going to say it media then inside let me set the maximum width of this 767 pixels so this is now we're not styling the mobile view let me start by styling the html and the body overflow we want the overflow along the x-axis to be hidden then let me style the main I 
I want to set a maximum width of 100%, minimum width of 375, then class name mob. I'm going to set mobile, I'm going to set it to display block. Look at that so that we can get the mobile view. Let's increase the zoom. There it is. Okay. I need to find the right size for zoom. Uh, which one fits well? I uh, know the tablet is too big. Yeah, this one would do so. I need to find the right fit. There you can see the the mob is now visible and is not being displayed as block they with this text so let's go inside our file and continue styling let's set the desk to display none this is very important Oh, there you see, it's now displayed to none. Let's tell the header. Let's say position relative. Then header. Content with eighty five percent margin two rams and zero. Eighty five percent. There you can see the change that we are applying. Then let's start the top contents so where we have to save me. So the top content then display grid then grid template columns i just want one column then grid template rows i want two with the width with the with the with with with, with one frn length then cap i'm going to set it to five frame then just justify these items replace them at the center align items start and then overflow hidden let's have a look at oh there you see the changes that we have applied we just need to zoom back yeah there it is to start you start the top left now one span over one so let's have a look then i'll set the grid templates to a we have so this one copy it Top left dot txt
column align items send just very content to space between the margin top two rams so let me have a look at how the design there you can see the spacing is now there there you can see the spacing is now there the nextly I want to target the inner heading so I just have to copy this one again then we just say heading we for the heading we are going to set the width to 100 percent then we have the margin bottom equivalent to one ring oh there you see our design is now taking shape now we are going to start the heading h1 takes Just going to increase the font size to 2,5 em. Nextly, I'm going to style the dot read width. We are going to set it to 100%. now target the paragraph text now we're going to target font size 15 pixel line item comma 7 rams imagine bottom oh there you can see Changes that you've applied. Now let's go on styling. We are now going to set the the top right. So I need to say main dot content dot top content dot top right. Let's save. Let's save the grid column. Grid column of thirty to one slash span one. This this for the first span. Then grid column grid for the rows grid row. We are just going to have two rows of a span. Span one. Oh, there you can see it's now going below. We have pushed it to below. Tell the top right text class name text dot txt yeah we target the paragraph instead yeah the paragraph in a paragraph so i'm going to set the line height to 1.7 em then after i've done with that let's sell the bottom main dot content dot bottom content this is the one that again start next the bottom content percent display grid and then we are going to have a number of columns are going to be having one and then what is the rows we have three the we have grid template rows of three of three rows with 
with one one f bar in length then cap with two rem just where the corner to the center align items to the side and we remove all the overflow we set it by hidden then the margin will push it to the top and bottom three rems then sideways left and right zero margin to the top we reduce that to zero so let's see oh there you see that's how the changes now looks like after we've done that so nextly we are going to target the menu Let's set the Z index to 12. Then we are going to now have nav expand. The nav expand for test of view this one for bit and place it there and fix with 100% I'll give a height of 100% then top left right and bottom I'll push it to zero to nothing then the background color will be changed to, to black while it is at index is set to two index let's have it there you can see there you can see the changes that we have applied Class overlay. Mm. Now let's change. Let's interchange the class names. This one will come to there. Now expand. Then this one will become our overlay. Dot. There you can see it now looks much better and smarter. So now for the off of nav expand, the real nav expand. I'm going to put in some styling position. We set to absolute background color black, white, then Z index 11, width we set it to 70%, height 100 percent top and right we set it to zero display flex, flex direction color, align item to the center, justify the planet to the center. Entrance here 0, 2. This will surely, there you can see, we have pushed it with the background color of white. So now I'm going to set the let's collect a new class name. This one collapse. We have to set it with. Zero percent. This is very important. Oh, there you can see it disappears. It disappears like that. But we need it. Okay. Then we are now targeting the now expand UL. Let's save margin to the left of two rams and let's have flex basis of 60 percent yeah it's not visible so because we are not yet and then i want to check it the inner listings let's increase the font size to 1,5 em remember it's not visible because it, it has been displayed to none then font weight but we just want to set up the property so that when you when you draw a javascript 
all the settings css settings will be correctly then imagine bottom to two rams then we want to set these inner listings on over we want to change the color using our style guide let's change the color to soft red okay what we've done now we'll set up everything now we are going to style the javascript coding so let me make sure that the link for the javascript is there this most important thing the javascript as you know is placed below just before the closing body text so let's have our script link this will link us to the source file main dot js now let's go inside our style file with st so i've declared a concept of code menu icon this is collected query selector code menu id menu as you can see the id menu is online is online 39 then after that close icon this will collect an id code close the, the close one is on line 41 there you can do id close 41 there const code let i've given another variable called let overlay this will collect an id code of uh, collect a class name code overlay we're going to declare another 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 i declare the another another concept another variable called nav love that this will this will collect in a class name called nav expand class name so now i'm going to put on to add an invert list i want to add an invert list now using a variable that you've declared on line one called menu icon so this is the code this is the code for the event list now it will the event list now will add a div class when on click it would trigger an operation that will add a class name called hide and then also a close icon to class list will be removed and then a nav class name will be removed and then so once we are done with that we can have a look there you see but we are, we are here to close so every one every time when you click on the close sign it it does the opposite of removing and going back to the default like this one so for me to do that i'm just going to come and copy this one there it is just copy it and place it there then we just change close icon we, we change this one copy we replace it then we have to just from where it is added to say remove remove you say add to remove it was saying remove so we say it that's the opposite so let's have a look at how it now looks like oh there you can see the project has been completed on mobile view as well as on desktop view so thank you very much for watching this challenge thank you